Dos Park Give Me Sports in partnership with Pro Direct Fit. We're working on a new series that looks at keeping fit and staying healthy throughout the year. We're here at Chelsea Football Club with Anita Shanti, who's Chelsea football player and England international, who's going to take us through a series of ways where we can keep fit throughout the year. I'm Miss Benny Bonsu, and I hope to learn as much as possible as you guys. <music> So mental health plays a really big part of sports and I think whether it's sports or even as a, a normal woman, mm. to get up and mentally prepare yourself to go and work out is hard. I mean, for me, for example, today is raining. Mm. So obviously, automatically I'm defeated. I can't, I can't go <laughs> out. How do you mentally prepare yourself or how can any woman prepare themselves in trying to start this journey of getting fit? I mean, I think it's hard, but I think as women, we show all the time that we are the most resilient forces True. on this planet and we are able to manage so many things in our day to day life and just trying to find ways to incorporate a healthy lifestyle, whether it is training, the way you eat into your lifestyle will just make it become commonplace, mm -hmm. you know, so I think the first step is just getting yourself up to do those things, you know, and, and, and obviously we've mentioned before doing something you enjoy fundamentally will help you do that. That's like the first way to enter into this sort of action, you know? So finding something you enjoy, then beginning that, then finding ways to incorporate it into your daily lifestyle. But how do I physically do it? So for example, every night I go to bed, I'm like, tomorrow morning I'm going for a run at six o'clock, then I wake up tomorrow at six o'clock, and I look out the window and I'm like, nah, I'll do it tomorrow. I think, I think the point is when you realise how health can affect you positively, mm -hmm. physically and mentally, you're more likely to do it. You know, we all know that it has huge benefits to the way we're able to um, store information, for example, and, and feel more alert and feel more energetic and therefore be able to complete tasks in our day even better, better than if we didn't. So I think knowing that, look, this is actually gonna make me feel good in the end, will get you into that position where you're going to go, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to reap the rewards afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's really important. I said rewards. I was going to ask that, like, is it important to reward yourself once you've achieved something that you've planned to do throughout the day? So if I said I'm going to run a half a mile <laughs> this morning and I finish and I give, give myself a little chocolate, that's <laughs> all right, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think everything in moderation, you know, there are, there are obviously extremes in all forms of, uh, lifestyle you know whether you are into fitness or not the point is giving yourself balance because then you're more likely to be consistent and do those things see the benefit and feel encouraged and want to do it and it's something that you can therefore share with your family I know I do that just because of you know I feel fortunate that I'm in professional sports and have been in such a long time that I've accrued all this information and seen the benefits throughout my career that I'm like, yeah, why would I not do it? I feel better for doing it. And then I can share that information with my family and my friends. So Anita, um, let's talk about the Chelsea season. How is it going so far for you? Um, yeah, for me, it's been a different, I think, struggle. Um, I think the team is really successful right now. We have a big squad, a really competitive squad, and that's part and parcel when you have, you know, top quality players in the team. Um, for me, obviously, I'm coming back again from another injury uh, that took quite a few months again. So it's been hard for me to, I guess, get into a rhythm in terms of my on the pitch playing. Um, but, you know, I can't fault the rehab. The rehab's been excellent. The support from the medical team and my teammates has been really, really good as well. Um, but of course, I think as, an, as a player, as an athlete, you, you know, you question loads of things in your mind, like your body, you know, why is your body letting you down or why is this happening or how do I persevere? How do I get through it? Um, can I get back? To playing can I be the player I think I am or was all of those things so I think on that level um, you know it's challenging yeah how have you dealt with it all through your challenges because you know you are a legend when it comes to football within your journey and how you played in the past um, and what you're doing now the challenges that you face with your injury 
um, but also I find it really hard to actually call you a vet because some people are like, man, Anita yeah. is a vet in this game. How do you deal with all of that? Um, yeah, I think it's, it's different every day. Like, obviously, there are days when you feel super good about yourself. You know, you the person, you the player in everyday life. And then there are days where you, I don't know, you maybe doubt yourself, you doubt who you are, your value to, I don't know, your team or, the, you know, where you're going in your, your, your football career. Um, and I just think, like, this time around, I've been quite fortunate, you know, to be back in England as well. So I have my family close, I got my friends close. I've got a lot of good people around me, I think, that try and advise me and support me and, and pick me up when I, you know, sometimes aren't feeling like 100% or whatever. And to be honest, I think I've just been trying to um, navigate different avenues um, and learn new skills and, and explore sort of, you know, uh, different areas that are associated with the game. Because I'm also thinking or trying to look ahead to my post playing career as well. Um, so I think that's been useful for me to sort of, as well, I think it, it gives a better picture as well as reminding you that you are more than just what you do. I think that's been important for me to explore that because so much of my career has been what I do. And that is playing. And when you're not playing, it's like, who are you then? If you're not on the pitch, you're not a footballer at this point. Or well, it can feel like that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think um, just exploring those avenues has helped me really cope with being injured and not maybe feeling always 100% part of everything that's going on. The reason why I have so much respect for you because I've always felt that you are bigger than the game itself. You know, when people say Anita Ashanti, I'm like, man, did you know Anita has a degree and a master's in this? Like, she's probably one of the smartest ones I've ever met in the game. And then I'm looking at your journey so far. You've come back from injury, you're back now. Um, and then looking at the Chelsea season, you guys have had, having a great season so far. Yeah. What does the future look like for you? You've been, you're part of the FIFA Pro um, team. You were recently at the conference, you know, really sharing the knowledge of what should happen and what should be happening. Um, how do you think your role is carving out for the future? Um, I think my experiences in the game have informed um, how I think I can impact it in the future. And, and where I see it going and how I think it can continue to improve. And I think any time that I'm presented with the platform to try and create something for good and for positive change, I'm trying to do that, you know? Um, and I'm just trying to be just real about it. Like, I, there's no like sugarcoating things. There's no just like, I don't know, trying to make it look glossy. I'm just gonna be real about it. And, and it's just about what I value as well. Like, there's certain things that I feel are important and I'm going to step up for that, you know, where I can it is kind of how I've looked at it. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just guess, I guess that football has given me so much as well. You know, I would never change anything about what I've been able to, to achieve, where I've been able to play. The people I've met along the way have all helped me get here. Lots of people have been part of who Anita Asante is, if you like. And a lot of people will continue to be that, I think, when I'm done playing as well. But I've always wanted to be in control of my own destiny. And so for me, I will decide when I'm done playing. Um, I think sport still tries to put, you know, some limitations on people because immediately you're 30 year old, all these things. But, you know, it's about, for me, what you see in terms of output in, on the pitch, off the pitch, uh, you know, the value of individuals, and that's how I look at it. I don't rule myself out. I've never placed uh, phases in my life based on my age. <laughs> it's based on what I can do, the opportunities, who I meet, who's opening doors, who's, you know, that type of thing. So um, that's the way I will continue to look at my on the pitch and off the pitch career. If somebody said, who is Anita Shanti, what would you say? Um, I don't know. I think uh, I'd, I'd, I'd say people who know me, like growing up, would probably say, you know what, she was um, a bit introverted in the early days <laughs> as a young kid, surprisingly. Uh, but on the pitch, as soon as I got on the pitch, that's like where I felt alive, where I could really show who I am, be who I am. Um, football has allowed me to grow in confidence and, and bring out another side, a bit more you know, extroverted side, a social side that I maybe wouldn't have developed if I wasn't involved in team sports, actually. So 
Um, I think a lot of people would say that they that I, you know, always try to to be a good teammate. Um, I would hope they would say that, and that you know, I'm coming in with a smile on my face, no matter the situation, the good, the bad, and just be positive to people around me, and that um, I really try as much as possible to represent the game in a good way, represent the people I work with in a good way, and, and stand for issues as well. Like.